Hey guys, today we got something special for you. In this video, it's the second installment of our lumber buying guide. I'm filming this intro without Kendall, as you can see, and we're doing a little something different. If you have any sawmill questions or lumber questions that you might want to ask a Sawyer that's got 20 plus years of experience, go ahead and type them in the comments below and we'll answer them in new videos that we create. It's gonna be great. Right, Kendall? Kendall, what are the drawbacks of buying rough cut lumber or rough sawn green lumber versus the kiln dried lumber? Well, it really matters what you're gonna use it for. I'd say that would be the biggest thing. But a drawback would be obviously rough sawn lumber that's green. It still has got moisture in it, so it could uh, warp or puff. It will shrink some. Um, so really you want to use that on outdoor applications. Kiln dried lumber is definitely more stable, definitely interior projects, I would yep. say. Woodworking. Kiln dried, and then exterior projects, you can do a lot of rough sound. And people call me all the time asking, if they can use the fresh cut green lumber for certain exterior projects. Is there any kind of tips that you can give people? What is a realistic application for rough saw and fresh cut green lumber when dealing with exterior projects. Yeah, well, I have on my houses, I've sided three houses now, my own houses in my cabin with rough sawn pine. Um, I usually air dry it for just a two, three weeks, just enough to get some of the moisture out of it. Pine dries fast anyway. And then I will stain it up and put it up on the house as siding if you're doing any posts, so things like that for rough sawn. What grades of lumber do you offer and how do they differ in quality and appearance? That's a good question. Well, we have our kiln dried lumber, which we, a lot of times we're keeping like a select and better. Typically here, we'll sort it by species and dimension. Every once in a while for certain types of lumber, like a quarter sawn even, we'll separate it that way. But most of the time you're gonna get a pile that's gonna have a mix between uh, select and better, and then number one common, number two common in there. We usually either make it easy for newer customers and say it's gonna either be clear or rustic. Kiln dried lumber, when I, when I set it in on the hardwoods, they'll dry it down to 6%. And then a lot of times it re-acclimates back down to around 8%. Um, air dried stuff that's outside, it's gonna be in that 12 to 15% range. Here's a question, do I have 50 plus inch wide lumber? No. Longest we can cut is 20 feet. Widest I can cut, if everything is absolutely perfect, is about 28 inches. And even 24 inch materials can be very difficult to come across. You have to have really big logs that are really, really nice. And it doesn't happen that often. So why are dimensions in not accurate in certain, except for lengths, in certain lumbers? Sure. Like four quarter lumber, right? Yep. So how much is four quarters? Well, four quarters should be one, right? When you get it kiln dried and planed, um, it's not an inch thick anymore. So it's less than an inch, doesn't seem fair. But in all reality, it started out thicker than an inch. So the sawmill loses a little bit in the, in the deal and so does the customer. Hey guys, keep in mind that we're doing a giveaway for our cherry cutting board so that when we reach 5,000 subscribers, we're gonna give away this cherry cutting board. And here comes Kendall. And Kyle give away free piggyback rides too. No, I don't do that, it ain't gonna happen. Free we're gonna give away- Free piggyback rides from Kyle! We're gonna give away this cutting board. So make sure you hit that like button and hit this subscribe button so that you can get more content like this. 